All right, you guys, I'm here with Mike and Robert today. Guys, how are we doing? Doing, doing well. well. I'm extremely underdressed right now. I'm, <laughs> it's painfully obvious. But uh, as a filmmaker, what is your guys' film today? Our film is titled The Birth and History of Western Swing, and it, it's really the uh, definitive story of Western swing music, a music that's kind of part jazz, part country, and a lot of other genres mixed in. So it's a musical documentary, kind of? Yes, oh. it sure is. Historical in nature. Gotcha, gotcha. And what is, so you're the director, you were saying. I'm the director, correct? executive producer. Robert here is our associate producer, and he's probably forgotten more about Western Swing than I'll ever know. He really knows the history. So you were the resident uh, historian on set then? Well, I was one of them. We had a, a crew of writers that, uh, that helped with the production. We started this, what, five years ago, somewhere along in there, and the actual production started about four years ago. And uh, it's just been a labor of love for everybody involved because everyone that is involved knows what Western Swing is. They understand the social and cultural significance of it to people in our part of the country. Absolutely. So we talked a little bit about you guys. Can we talk about the film, the synopsis of it? Yes, the synopsis really is the story of the early roots of the music, how it got started out in West Texas. Rural fiddle music is how one of the key ingredients to it and how a rural guy from West Texas, Bob Wills, as a young man, moved to Fort Worth, the big city. And he kind of brought the country into the city with his music. And he met a city boy, Milton Brown, who had a lot of jazz influence. He was with a jazz quartet. And together they fused blues, jazz, polka, mariachi, uh, cowboy fiddle music, music, fiddle music, wow. um, even the pop music of the day, the, the big swing bands. And, mm. and the key ingredient, though, with all of their music was it had to have a dance beat. And it really uplifted the folks during the depths of the Great Depression and brought joy to a lot of people in the early 1930s in North Texas. And it spread all over to Oklahoma, Arkansas, everywhere. Mm. Interesting. That's super interesting. And what is the inspiration behind the film? Why make a film like this? Well, I think, Robert, you can attest, but it, it gets lost, I think, in between jazz and country. No one's really ever categorized it as its own genre. And this film aims to, to, to tell the story. It tells the story because Western Swing is, and I'm going to cut this if you have to, Western Swing has been known as the bastard child of both country music and jazz because no one of those in, in any of those other genres wants to claim it but it was absolutely the, the leader of all of those forms of music because Western Swing was the grandfather of rockabilly, which later morphed into rock and roll. Mm -hmm. It was also the uh, grandfather of the Bakersfield sound of country music. And so, honky tonk. And honky tonk. So it, 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 it influenced all these other American genres of music, but it never got the credit for it because it was never marketed well. They didn't know how to market it because it was just all over the map. You couldn't put your finger on it. In fact, there's a line in the, in the film that says, trying to define Western swing is like trying to nail jello to a tree. <laughs> you just can't put your finger on it because it has elements of everything in it. Mm. And that is very true. Making a documentary like this, are you guys musicians yourselves? I am. Robert is. I sing a little bit. In fact, I may sing with his band tonight. His band is performing after our screening at the uh, uh, Fort Smith Museum of History. So wow. the name of that band is? Western Swing Rules, <laughs> and it does. <laughs> so before I get you guys out of here, is there anything you want to tell people at home watching this video about your film, about what you guys do, really anything? Yeah, I just think it, it's, it's a music genre that brought joy to a ton of people and still lives to this day. There's festivals all over Oklahoma, Ar Arkansas, especially in Texas, uh, that celebrate this great music out in West Texas, in a little town of Turkey, every April, they celebrate Bob Wills Day. And since Bob was the king of Western Swing, it's like an annual pilgrimage of folks that, that go out there. And so this music, this film will help memorialize that. And I think it'd be interesting for a lot of folks that don't even know about the music. And especially if you're a musician. If you're a musician and you study different forms of music, chances are, if you're of a younger generation, you've probably never even heard of this stuff. It's way over many people's heads because it doesn't get the PR, it doesn't get the press, it doesn't get played on mainstream radio. So it's, there have been several generations that have come and gone that have no idea what this stuff is. But when, once they hear it, it hooks them. And that's, that is the comment that we hear constantly from everybody, is that you're gonna find something 
in this musical style that you're going to like mm. because it has it's so broad and it has so much in it. It'll make you tap your feet, I guarantee you. And you will never <laughs> see anybody frowning when they're playing Western Swing. It, definitely, it, it just won't happen. I think the musicians enjoy it as much as oh, the dancers. They do. They do. <laughs> the musicians enjoy it because they're playing because they feed off of one another. Mm -hmm. The musicians and the and the uh, dancers have a symbiotic relationship, right. and so and it's all about improvisation. It's all about improvisation. Every night is different when Every you play the music. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen. I appreciate your time. Thank, thank you, you so much. Appreciate it. Of course. Thank, thank you, sir. You.